If you want complete privacy on the internet, you use the Onion router. And if you want to completely control an electric dildo on the internet, you use the Onion router. Ah. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Tor is what people use when they just absolutely do not want to be tracked online um, through various uh, data mining places or what have you. There's plenty of reasons to use Tor, uh, but one person in particular, uh, Sarah Jamie Lewis, an independent researcher, has decided to make it so that an electronic dildo is uh, controlled through Tor itself because of, I mean, Look, it's fun to talk about uh, teledildonics, sure. right? where we're talking about controlling um, adult toys mm -hmm. via Wi-Fi or the internet or what have you. But what became an issue earlier this year was that sex toy manufacturers were selling products that collect data on their users without the user's knowledge and then somehow uploading it to the internet. In March, WeVibe, which is a major um, teledildonics company, agreed to pay $3.75 million to settle a lawsuit with uh, disgruntled customers whose data had been taken and used without their knowledge. So what she has done, and I, th I think this is pretty ideal, um, because when we talk about the Internet of Things, like sure. an electronic kettle or controlling the temperature or whatever, these usually use some kind of third-party server and it collects the information and then someone else, someone could take that information or they could straight up sell it. Mm -hmm. But the point is you want your data to stay your data. And she decided to circumvent that third-party server and just use, it, use Tor instead to route it. Smart. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's... It's such an interesting, as you say, she's an independent researcher, so it's an interesting route that she chose to go with this because she is immediately jumping to, as you say, like one of the most private sort of activities yeah. you can do that you would absolutely not want anybody to I mean, collect any of your data. It's an extreme version, it but is. it is, I don't want other companies to have my data without me expressly releasing that data. Yeah. And it happens so often that data is collected without uh, customers express permission, or perhaps it's hidden somewhere in terms of service. Mm -hmm. It's It's usually, if it's not transparent, there's something shady about it. And there is a value that should be placed on your, your data. And we should never feel like, oh, it's it's fine if they just take our information. Yeah, absolutely. And we increasingly are. Yeah, well, and, and I mean, what a good way, again, to illustrate it by being like, I'm going to use the internet to control my vibrator, which is something that mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want uh, everybody knowing about. So it protects the content of the data that users are communicating, but also um, makes the metadata harder to find. And so it would be very difficult to snoop on this information and find out what is happening between whom. Um, Vice Motherboard started a chat session with Lewis's uh, internet connected vibrator and sent a few simple commands. <laughs> er, ping, ping not found. Max, done, max, off, off, max, max, min, min, not found, off. So it looks like they're going off and max uh, controls on the electronic dildo. I would argue it's a vibrator if it's conducting these actions, sure. but that's what they're calling it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and um, so they, she, she sent a video of it doing exactly what was being communicated through there and of course communicated privately. Yes. That is the crux of this yeah. altogether. Um, I like to see that people, I mean, this might be against the, the terms of service, sure. but I like people taking their own privacy into their own hands yeah. or genitals. And <laughs> um, it's, it's cool that she did this and that this is a method that people could use to obfuscate their metadata mm -hmm. or um, whatever data that they, regular data too, because I, I don't like the modern attitude that it's just, it's fine if everyone just collects whatever information they want on us and sell it or yeah. make it vulnerable. Well, it's like every single time you Google something on the internet on your phone, suddenly the next time you launch Twitter or Instagram, you're, you're getting all of these targeted ads because your data is constantly being collected. And you could argue like, oh, it helps me. I don't care. Yeah. I didn't say do that. Yeah. So it's the, it's differing attitudes. So I definitely like that pushback to reclaim one's own data. Audience, do you use Tor? 
What do you use it for? Actually, you might not want to tell me because that data is secure, but <laughs> let me know what you want me to know below and please like and subscribe for more.